Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to McGahee's Entertainment. I'm your host as always, Adam McGahee. Before we hop into this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Got some exciting news concerning the upcoming Resident Evil 8 and the game's protagonist, Ethan Winters. According to gaming news insider Dust Golem, he has recently tweeted some interesting information regarding Ethan's role in the upcoming game. The tweets report that in Resident Evil 7, Capcom wanted to give more space to the crazy family of Bakers, and it's safe to say that Ethan was not the central part of that story. However, in Resident Evil 8, this will change as Ethan is a more central player in the events transpiring in the game and is interacting with a lot more characters. The direct tweets say that, in Resident Evil 8, they not only went into with giving Ethan a lot more presence, there's a lot more happening alternatively Ethan is directly involved in. There's more NPCs in this game than any other Resident Evil really, plus we're going in depth with Ethan's psychology with the focus on hallucinations. There's also the angle that Ethan is a city person dealing with rural nonsense. Ethan goes into the village looking for a phone after an accident and has to deal with people not trusting him as an outsider, pointing guns at him, and dealing with crazy beliefs the locals have that he isn't buying, all while trying to escape with others and people dying and turning mad all around him. Ethan, being a more compelling lead, plays into this. This sounds very interesting and exciting. Even though he did not say much, I found Ethan to be an interesting character in Resident Evil 7, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing his character fleshed out in Resident Evil 8. I'm especially eager to see more of these hallucinations in the game that the tweets mentioned. The original plan for Resident Evil 4 was supposed to focus more on hallucinations and the supernatural, but that was later scrapped for the final game that we got, so it sounds like Capcom may be planning to bring elements of this back in Resident Evil 8. It has been officially announced that we will be getting updates on the story and gameplay of Resident Evil 8 in the upcoming Tokyo Game Show, which starts on Wednesday, September 23rd. I will be covering all of the Resident Evil news coming out of that event, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you enjoyed today's content. Now, what are your thoughts on this? Do you want to see more hallucination-based elements in the game, and what would you like to find out more about the character of Ethan? Sound off in the comments! Thank you so much again for watching today's video. Remember you are awesome and loved, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.